So hello everybody and today we are at the town of Kansas and it is an overlook over the river. We're gonna go check this out. This is the town of Kansas Bridge. This looks pretty cool. So this bridge, Jake, goes over the Missouri River and it is right here at the founding of the town of Kansas City. In 1832, Francois Chateau built the first warehouse for storing westbound steamboat delivered goods and his landing was called Chateau's Landing. And in 1834, John Calvin McCoy from Kentucky established a frontier trading post known as Westport, and that was to trade furs with the Indian, the Delaware, and the Kansas Indian tribes, and also outfit missionaries and settlers that were outbound on the Santa Fe and the Oregon trails. So to avoid a three-day wagon round trip to the East River port of Independence to replenish his goods, McCoy started to look for a closer site so he could get his deliveries. And he came to this site, which was the property of Gabriel Prudhomme. And thereafter, he had his goods delivered here, and he called this Westport Landing. Now, Gabriel Prudhomme owned about 247 acres, which is pretty much all of downtown Kansas City. At any rate, after his death, McCoy and 13 others bought the 257 acres um, of Prudhomme's estate. And on June 3rd, 1850, the town of Kansas was incorporated. And then in 1853, the city of Kansas. And then finally, in 1889, Kansas City. Is there a train coming? I love this train. Well, maybe not here. I just heard one. Yeah. Well, there, this is a train tracks right down here. Uh, it's, it, no, it's a boat. So, oh, is it a boat? Yeah. yeah, so we have train tracks. And there's the river. Well, you can tell we're in the city. All the sirens. And it's super overgrown, but I do know that this area right here that we're looking at was full of warehouses and taverns and houses, uh, but you really can't see. There is a cliff right up there. And so they were all up against that cliff. And here's a little bit, another picture. An idyllic scene of the city of Kansas from the opposite side of the river. And here is, what does it say, Market, City Market at 3rd and Grand in Kansas City, just a few blocks from the river. Yeah, that's still a river market. It's pretty cool. We might have to go there sometime. But for now, we are checking this place out. Yeah, so this area really wasn't opened up until like 1824. I believe there was some sort of uh, Indian treaty that went on that allowed settlers to come in and then that's when the French fur traders started coming into the area to trade with the local tribes and we have made it to the end here where shall we go oh look people are putting locks up here those that's cool uh, I love lock nothing written on it And it's a typical Kansas day. Woo. You see those things all over Kansas City too. People rent those to get around. Because, you know, Kansas is spread out. Kansas City is spread out. Downtown Kansas City is spread out. 
pretty cool place though. You know, it's places like this, they're just hidden gems that you just, you just don't know. And there's so much history. I mean, this place, this is the place where Kansas City was born. It's just amazing the things that you can find if you actually look. And as you can see, this little river bottom area is still full of warehouses from the Victorian era. So from the 1880s, 1890s. Uh, but nowadays, they're not warehouses, they're lofts. And it's uh, super posh to, uh, to live down here. So 